All right, let's figure out what statements are valid for this. So what we have here is this function f of x is equal to x over 1 plus x squared. Um, so statement 1 is the limit of x as it approaches uh, negative infinity to the left, the same as it approaches it to the right. Uh, yes, because eventually what this does is um, this narrows out here to eventually where it just becomes Actually, that's not true. So if you have negative infinity here, um, sorry, it is true. Because what happens is you have um, squared on the bottom, but uh, infinity squared is larger than infinity. So ultimately what happens is, um, well, there's another technique you can use, but the derivative, so this simply becomes 1 over 1 over x plus x. If you go to infinity, this becomes, whether or not it's uh, negative or positive, it just goes to 0. So 1's going to be true. Uh, 2, go from 0 to left to 0 to right. Yeah. Um, Either way, it's going to be 0 over 1, which is just 0. So this is going to be true because you don't approach it directly. The one you got to be careful about, though, is this next one because it states the limit at when x is equal to 1. This cannot happen because the reason is the denominator 1 minus 1 is 0. So it's undefined at that exact point. So in this case, uh, the solution is just going to be um, 1 and 2. It's just when it's one not approach you. And thus, undefined. That's it.